All right, welcome everyone. This video is about Home Lab. In this video, we are going to set up Wazoo's solution. Okay, Wazoo is an open source SIM and EDI solution. I have written a book on it. You can check out the book. I have mentioned the link in the description. Okay, and uh, in this Home Lab, we are going to set up our Wazoo solution on Docker. Okay, and um, it's gonna be fun. Trust me. Before we go ahead, make sure you subscribe the channel. And if you are interested to get get started your career uh, in cybersecurity, you can join my free webinar on cybersecurity roadmap. I conduct on every Saturday, and you can check out the timing and all the other detail in the in the description below. Okay. So without taking much time, let's get started. Let's get started, guys. Uh, you can see on my left, it's the Wazoo website, wazoo.com. And uh, you can check out some of the information about Wazoo. It's an, uh, as I said, it's uh, it's an open source security platform, unified XDR, extended detection and response, and SIM solution. These are some of its capabilities from endpoint security to threat intelligence security operation. Uh, you can check out all the information about it uh, by visiting their official website. Once you go to the documentation section, okay. Under documentation section, you will find this. Okay, under documentation, you will have to. Okay, let me walk you through the steps. Under documentation section, you can click on probably uh, you know a quick start, and under this, you will find the installation alternatives. And then you can click on the uh, deployment on Docker. Okay, so once you do that, you will be you will be here. Okay. So first thing first, you will have to, if you want to install Wazoo on Docker, you first need a server. Okay, that's a fun, one very important thing. And Wazoo can be deployed on, on either on this single, uh, you know, single all-in-one solution like uh, standalone mode, or you can deploy it in the distributed mode as well. Wazoo has got three three components. Okay, you see, if I show you the components of Wazoo, you can go here, come here. There are three major components. There is a Wazoo indexer, there is a Wazoo manager, uh, and we have a Wazoo dashboard, okay? Now, a Wazoo indexer is responsible in storing your data, managing just like databases, right? We have Wazoo server, uh, which has the Wazoo manager as well, which gives you the dashboard functionality, all the intelligence capability, um, all, all the features related to IDS, and everything there in the Wazoo server itself. In the, and finally, you have a dashboard. The dashboard help you to configure all the things related to agents, related to any security rules, decoders, in case you wanna parse a certain data. And finally, of course, Wazoo agent. And Wazoo agent will be installed install on the endpoints, right? So these are the three components. When you install all three on a single server, that becomes a standalone solution. When we when you install uh, each one of them on a different nodes or a server, that becomes a distributed environment. Well, for the standalone deployment, uh, it, it's good for the very small network or in the lab network. But if you have a real world production environment, go for a distributed mode. We'll go through the deployment on Docker. This is the link, we'll be using it. Then um, first you need to have your Linux server. I am, I'm using uh, you can see I'm using Linux machine okay this is Linux machine and it has uh, 4 GB RAM and 2 CPU okay virtual core so we'll first start with making sure we upgrade this machine so you can do the apt get update apt update and once this is done then first thing that you have to start with is making sure you increase the maximum map count this is important in case you have elastic to expand the memory uh, mapping okay so you can do that first thing it's done um, then you need to uh, for ubuntu yes for then you need to install docker let's install the docker quickly once the docker is installed then we can install docker compose okay what is Docker Compose? Docker Compose is the basically a script-based I mean, infrastructure as a code solution. For Docker, 
if you want to run any containers you have to install every containers one by one with docker compose uh, you can create a script and you just have to uh, execute the script and everything will be uh, installed as a part of that script execu execution itself okay all right so installation is done now let's start docker click on this link start the docker perfect the docker has been started now next we have to install docker compose you can see docker compose uh, copy this paste it this will take some time perfect it's done now let's grant permission execution permission to docker compose then you can test if the docker compose has been installed by this command so yes docker compose has been installed properly we are all good now it's time to install docker on top sorry wazoo on top of the docker okay so as you can see it can be installed in single node or multi node stack as i said earlier it can be deployed in the single node deployment or standalone mode uh, or multi node deployment okay we'll be going for a single node uh, so let's install the uh, wazoo docker uh, package first so let's clone the repository and once the repository has been cloned uh, we get two files we get single node file and multi node file a multi node file if we want to install set up our wazoo in standalone or single node we have to get into that directory and execute all the further command and if we want to deploy it in the multi multi node in deployment we have to get into the multi node i'll show you well let's do the ls and see yes we have wazoo docker file you see here might not be visible so this is the one hit enter and then see what all file we have okay next we have multi node and single node so let's get into single node now we have to execute all the further commands uh, in the single node itself. The first step talks about self-signed certificate and in case we have a proxy in between. So we don't have it, so we'll keep it as it is. Um, let's generate these certificates. So this will, this will generate, yeah, as you can see, it execute following command to get the certificates, okay? It might take some time. Perfect. It's done. Uh, you can have uh, provide your own certificate as well. So if you do that, you can use this option. I I'll, I will not use it. So it's all good now. Uh, we can now start our Docker Compose. This will actually start the uh, all the containers. Okay. So you have two option either you use the docker compose up so this will be uh, this will execute the command on the same uh, on your command line itself but in meantime you won't be able to execute any command or else you have another option where you can say docker compose up minus d so all the commands the setting up turning up new containers will be happening in the background so i'll do that perfect so by doing this all the commands will be uh, all the containers will be getting executed in the background it might take some time once it is up then we'll open the wazoo on our browser and we have to enter admin as the username and secret password as the passwords so let's pause the video and i'll catch you in some time so the installation is uh, completed uh, let's open the browser and uh, say http type https and sorry https and enter the ip address of the server and um, perfect you can see uh, it says connection is not private it's okay because the you don't have the certificate uh, valid certificate uh, let's enter the pass uh, username as admin and password secret password perfect let's log in it's done 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 
dan 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 Sticking slightly more yeah okay so the validation process is going on and if everything is checked we should clap okay awesome so as you can see wazoo is ready wazoo is ready this is the front end uh, we have module section where we have security information auditing and policy threat detection response and regulatory com regulatory compliances in the management section we have rules where we can create simple to advanced rules by default because it's, it's not just a sim it's also an open source edr so we already have a list of wazoo rule uh, you just say it maybe for cisco you have cisco related rules right you say maybe checkpoint you will have checkpoint related rules so these rules are what these rules are to detect uh, specific i mean to detect any threats related or any alerts related to checkpoint so you might because on the firewalls you cannot install any agent wazoo agent so how do you get that well you can get that by using syslog so if you uh, retrieve those logs using syslog server so if you have the rules you can able to detect those alerts using checkpoint uh, uh, checkpoint rules but uh, the first thing that start is using the decoder so every rules has a different format so the rule has to be parsed so first thing that the wazoo need to do is to create the decoder to decode the uh, log format a log of specific platform so for that a uh, decoder has to be created so i'll show you let's say checkpoint so a decoder is usually created first and then the security rule can be created as a next step okay then in the agent section uh, once we onboard the agent maybe linux windows or mac os the installation process is very simple we can let's say we want to onboard windows just click on windows you have to enter the server ip address itself your own server ip address so let's say it's 103 enter 103 okay then enter the name of the agent maybe win okay uh win singapore okay and then uh, this is the uh, script that you can use to execute on your windows server this will install all the packages you require uh, go for powershell enter this command and and then start the wazoo server this would be the next step so these are the two commands you require and immediately the package will be installed the or even the wazoo agent manager will be installed on windows servers and then immediately you can see the agent here and you can start getting the logs you can verify the you can look at the events and everything right away okay so what you see currently it's it's uh, these are the events of its own server not from any agents as, as you can see we haven't onboarded any agent yet all right so i hope this was useful for you if you have any question do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching